The military at the beginning of the 20th century had a very strange fashion for puns. Everyone at least once had to see trousers with a frankly strange shape and wonder why the riding breeches looked that way. Of course, nothing in the field of wardrobe for the military is done just like that. Let's figure out exactly when the strange punts appeared and who used them. They were invented and put into circulation by the French army, General Gaston Gallifet. The fact is that due to a wound received in his youth, the general had a curvature of the legs, which he tried to hide in such a way as to be able to attend social events without feeling discomfort. In the army, pants of a new type were intended for cavalrymen. It was believed that riding in the saddle in such trousers was much more practical. So, the freedom of the pants made it possible to get on the horse much faster. Interestingly, in France itself, cavalry pants were not called breeches at all. This name was assigned to them only after the item of clothing fell into the Russian troops. In France, they were simply called Pulot Bufonte, which translates as slouchy trousers. In the 1890 seconds, breeches began to be worn by men who were not in military service. However, the second most popular riding breeches after the French army was the Soviet Red Army in the first half of the 20th century. The reason for this was very simple, until the end of the Second World War, the cavalry did not occupy the last place in the army, and since for a long time it was a privileged branch of the army, many officers, and of a high rank, wore such trousers. If you like it, subscribe to our channel.